Hello everybody from Oita, Japan. I hope you're doing amazing. I decided to make a vlog, film a vlog this time from Japan for you guys. So here it is. We chose this city for many reasons. Firstly, we want to understand which city we like the most because we plan to move to Japan for a couple of months and also we wanted to see the monkeys you'll see later so here is how our day started we wanted to eat something quickly so we sadly had time only for mcdonald's and we got the bus in japan when you get into the bus you just get a piece of paper with a number on it so that you can know what exact amount of money you have to pay so right next we arrived to the monkey mountain so it's literally a mountain full of monkeys that we can actually like be in the same environment they are not in a cage uh, they are literally playing with us touching us so this mountain was so huge so beautiful uh, we could breathe oxygen so so well many many flowers so many colors and it's very important for the animal to not be captivated so basically they live in the mountain with many people that they are being really loved so here is me and my boyfriend when we arrived there it was a magical experience we got also these beautiful cards uh, and we walked only five minutes from the fast way and here we go also we saw some very beautiful japanese labels by the way i want to start learning japanese now <laughs> so here they are all of them were very small not dangerous we just had to avoid doing a couple of things to avoid any accidents for example we are not supposed to touch them we are not supposed to be aggressive to them these things are obvious so we had a very peaceful time with the monkeys it was absolutely amazing experience i highly recommend and it was also super super cheap maybe around 10 euro per person and you can just stay for an unlimited amount of time there they were so loving so gentle so playful we stayed there i believe for more than two hours unexpectedly because we were enjoying it to the fullest they were so funny they wanted to make us laugh it was just absolutely amazing experience also mom monkeys were so loving towards their babies it was just unbelievable so after this two hour experience it was time to go because our day was literally full of schedules we had many things to do also i have to tell you guys we stayed there for four days three nights in total uh, so right next we got the bus it was time to fill our stomachs with what else what else ichiran if you don't know what Ichiran is, I don't know what you're doing with your life. Ichiran is a religion. Ichiran is the most famous ramen restaurant in Japan. I believe there's more than 100 restaurants of Ichiran in Japan. Basically, it's the restaurant you might have heard that you don't have to talk to anyone. You just order by yourself and the staff will give you everything you've ordered without you having to talk to them without you having to see them so here basically this is the machine that you choose what exactly you want your ramen to contain as you can see we didn't struggle at all many many things we will add in our ramen so all of the seats are very very isolated as you can see there's wooden walls on your right and on your left I'm also showing you how fun and high-tech the Japanese toilet is. I'm, I'm just so excited about everything. <laughs> so, we order three eggs each. Don't judge. I mean, these eggs are absolutely amazing. Uh, and also, these are some wooden things that you can let the staff know about something that is bothering you 
or have to inform them that you will go to the toilet for a second uh, and you don't have to talk at all. Everything can be in written form or through these wooden labels. So here, here it is. Oh my god, oh my god, I want to eat it again. The staff is always like bowing to show respect. Then close this wooden thing in front of you and you're completely by yourself enjoying your ramen. Personally with a lot of onion, a lot of pork. Oh my, oh my, oh my god. We ate there every day. I mean, when we're in Japan, we just go to Ichiran every single day for breakfast. So here I wanted to order a little bit more uh, ramen. So I simply just pressed the button and he brought me a little bit more ramen without having to talk to him. It's just so comfortable. It's awesome. So here is me enjoying my ramen. We are eating super fast because again we are super busy but we also enjoy so so much so deeply this food so if you go to japan make sure to go to ichiran 100 percent paradise for introverts also the water is self-service and that's why my boyfriend is always bringing we didn't let even a crown left for anyone else we ate everything and we have to say goodbye to each around for today. Now it's time to go to another city, but before that, we decided to visit a type of castle which is super, super pretty. You will see right now with a lake and with cherry blossoms. Now it's the season for cherry blossoms in Japan and in Korea, so it's a paradise. Here we are, we can see something that looked like a house and it was absolutely beautiful. And if we walk straight from this point, we can see the castle. This is it. So basically it was magical, one of my favorite experiences in Japan so far. So peaceful, so traditional, it was just absolutely amazing and didn't have any words to describe also the lake and the cherry blossoms on the other side it was literally in the heart of the city in the heart of Oita uh, just no no words absolutely beautiful so we went around a little bit because right after we have to take the bus to go to another city very close to the city we will go to Beppu Beppu, 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 to see some onsen. So if you don't know what onsen is, I will try to explain it with my non-scientific brain. Basically, it's, you know, when there's humid coming from the earth, when the temperature is like so, so high that there's many little sources of smoke. So you will see this right after. So here are all the cherry blossoms, the turtles, the fish. I also found this origami little decoration. It was so pretty. So we got the bus going to a very uh, traditional, more like Japan picture, more fantasy picture of Japan place, which was absolutely amazing. Here we are. So I also saw this traditional house, I guess it is. It was one of the most beautiful houses I've ever seen so I decided to show it to you guys it's just absolutely beautiful it was wooden with some stones with beautiful flowers in the middle also this taxi driver was oh my god I love him he tried to help us so much gave us some maps gave us many recommendations and here we are to the onsen paradise so you can already see some smoke, right? So this is the view when we get in. You can see so many trees. Guys, I can't describe how tall these mountains are in front of us. Full of trees, full of nature, full of flowers. For me as a European girly and especially Greece, Greek, full of like dry things. This was an experience that I like. I can describe it as life-changing so 
we can see the cherry blossoms once again also the weather was so beautiful the sun also came out after a couple of minutes you will realize so this is the onsen this is where this uh, smoke is coming from which is very warm as you know you might know japan has many um volcanoes and many onsen places so this is one of them in this area there's more than 10 10 different onsen so you will see that we went to many in this specific travel so here there's also some very small buddha temple it was absolutely amazing here my boyfriend is washing his hands with some very warm water natural warm water in every single onsen we can also take get a stamp on our ticket which is a beautiful souvenir so this is the stamp from the first onsen now this is the second one it was red there was a lot of smoke also so many flowers once again this pink flower was oh my god beautiful and smelled so so good there's also some natural source of like this thing right here for our feet which was beautiful it was so relaxing basically it was very very hot but it was naturally hot at the temperature that we can stand it and enjoy it and just relax our whole whole body so this was it from the first area now we will move on to the second one however our taxi driver suggested this little cafe to try the pudding 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 i'm not sure how it's called my boyfriend always gets the ice cream but i got the pudding and it was oh my god perfect now this is the other onsen which is more thick <laughs> more thick gray material coming from the earth making bubbles this is the second stamp we got from this place it was only five minutes away by walking try to get my stamp well and as you can see from the whole city you can see just smoke coming out of everywhere it's just the natural ground of japan in this specific area like that to be honest the smell is not good it smells like eggs however <laughs> no one cares in front of this beautiful paradise guys honestly now this was the other one uh with the tokebi as we call it in korean you will see what i mean it's a more asian uh concept of an evil spirit this is it uh which in english we would call goblin so this is the theme of the third onsen which looks like a lake 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 here it's also some smoke for the skin for the face and for the throat but as you can see it didn't go very well so we moved on right away also we got our stamps i didn't film every every stamp it was more than seven i believe Oh, so so there was also a crocodile alligator yeah alligator uh, onsen which looked honestly not very good not very clean but i'm just showing you the whole experience here is my boyfriend living his absolutely best life he found kremia which is a very traditional japanese ice cream and he almost passed out so he wanted to show you guys also another stamp here as you can see we got many here is the fish onsen stamp there was also a type of aquarium so we could see a couple of fish which was very very interesting and very very fun you will see now two types of fish i filmed this is the first one and this is the second one it was adorable i mean come on isn't it adorable and come on guys after this long day it was about time to go home and enjoy some snacks we got this ice cream which is another type of religion you have to try it 
and now at home I will show you what we got so here is me almost dead after this long day also this is the pajamas our hotel gave super warm super pretty and we got some lemon vitamin which is super sour but good and here Tanmin is showing you his favorite ice cream my favorite ice cream and all the other desserts we chose to get to get to get to get to get also we got some mochi some cake many many things but i slowly have to let you sleep 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 i really hope you enjoyed this video by the way i also got these notebooks because i want to start learning japanese i'm quite crazy uh, so please tell me if you enjoyed today's vlog it's my first soft spoken i really hope you did enjoy it i tried to film i know i'm not very talented this is our first meal back in korea anyway i know i'm not very talented about filming vlogs i know but i really tried my best and i tried to show you every little detail from our crazy travel experience so i can't wait to see your comments guys take care i love you goodbye